and we see that somebody put a name tag on the leather jacket and when they pull the name tag off what they did like pulling a very sticky band-aid from your skin they also pulled the epidermis of the leather now this normally shows itself in two ways one is that the area affected has a tackiness to it where there's still some gummy residue from the uh, from the um, name tag. In this particular case, that's not it at all. The second way it presents is basically it's just pull the epidermis and so there's no gummy residue on here whatsoever. But I can detect where it is by feel because it's sort of like the leather's been slightly suede. So there's a couple of ways we can solve this problem and Jason is going to take us through that process. Well, I think the simplest way, and I think that that will probably mute it, is to use, uh, we, this is our conditioner protectant, SG25. And what that may do is help to darken in this light area a bit, and then also seal the leather. So we'll try that first. See how that turns out. I would expect it to darken a little bit as the conditioner goes in. Okay, and then we'll accelerate the drying with the heat gun here. Yeah, you can let it air dry. You could let it air dry. And then as the moisture comes out, see some lightning. So it's still just slightly darker right there. Pull that out into the light. But, you know, that's probably 90% resolved right then. Right. So, you know, as a do-it-yourself option, that might be sufficient, you know. Um, it's just a little darkening. What we can try is uh, stretching it just a little bit, and that might lighten it a little more. And so that's it, mostly gone. How does it feel? Good. So there's They're nice there and is smooth no... again. There's okay. no residual tack or. Okay. You know, there's a little bit of interruption where the surface material was removed. There's a little bit of interruption in the uh, um, reflective value. Right. So there is still just a little bit visible, but I would say for most, you know, all but the most expensive jackets or those people who, you know, are really looking for perfection, that would probably be sufficient. Okay, so then what's our second strategy? Uh, well, um, I think what I'll do is I've, I've already matched this color and I'll dust a little color over to eliminate whatever residual discoloration okay. there may be there. So how do we do that? I've got it set up in an airbrush. And there's my color right there. Well, let me see that again, Jay. All right. And then I'm just uh, very light coats because not it doesn't take much to cover. And I would say that's it pretty much resolved. Right. I'll put a clear over the top of it for uh, protection of the color. That should take care of it though. So the key is uh, if we can resolve it with SG25, then that's the correct strategy. That gets us to, um, in some cases, completely resolved. In many cases, very close to completely. And in some cases, it may require some additional work. But in the event it does, then the key is getting the color right matching that color of the, of the leather and then lightly airbrushing over the affected area and then doing a follow-up which is a clear coat that will protect everything. Right, you will, have, you will have tried the least expensive solution first and then you can decide if you want to go further and uh, pursue other options. Right, and of course we're here to help so um, advance leather solutions it's www.advleather.com or call us at 510-786-6059 Another jacket saved. Thanks, Jay. Yep.